All right, Rick, this is the Carolina Skiff 198 DLX. And even though it's the smallest boat that we brought out here today, it still has all of the features you need to be really a good SUV. Well, to start with, Dave, look how comfortable two of us are up here on the casting platform. We got all the room we could ever use. We could put a third person up here and cast with us. Now, here we go. You could not do that with a V-bottom boat. That's one of the advantages of having a hull like this. And this one is a tunnel hull. Tell me about that. What the tunnel does, it is actually recessed into the hull. And as the water follows the bottom of the hull, it follows that tunnel that goes up. And the water actually rises up to the bottom of the boat, which lets you bring the engine up. So you want to watch your water pressure. You want to watch your temperature. Make sure that you don't over trim and starve your motor for cooling water. But it would it really be hard to do even at max trim and, and uh, max height on your on a hydraulic jack plate the way they have this boat set up because the tunnel is so deep. Got plenty of water flow to keep that lower unit happy. Less drag, your lower unit is higher, you're not going to hit sand, you're not going to hit rocks. You can really run this boat in super, super skinny water. It's probably the most important question a boat owner can ask himself. You know, I, I know I want a boat. What do you want to do with it? If you want to get in real skinny water, you want to spend most of your time inshore, but you want to take your family anywhere they want to go and you got three kids, very possibly a hull like this is the best boat for you. It very well could. Let's look at the features of this Carolina Skiff and show what we like about it so much for its shallow water performance. I like this front deck. One thing Carolina Skiff has is they've got different pieces that fit their boat so you can really custom design what you want. The deck actually just bolts on, the front deck and the rear deck. But their front deck design is awesome. I like this multiple level, good place for a trolling motor, good place to stand to throw a cast net. But you see this panel down here? Place where I can plug in my trolling motor. I've got an accessory plug for 12 volts and I can even trim the engine up and down. You normally don't see this, but only on bass boats. That's it, that, it Carolina Skiff pays attention. They're watching, that's where that came from. If you've ever been on the bow of a bass boat, you've learned that the guy up front can do everything. He's got his bottom machine up there. He's got his trim and tilt. He's got everything he needs. That's a good concept. We're gonna see more of that in, in saltwater boats, I can promise you. Dave, I love this big wide platform as you know, but listen, these two hatches make it so accessible. Nothing drives me crazier than plenty of storage with a little bitty hatch where you can't get anything in and out of it. And the boys at Carolina Skiff didn't forget about me. They put the old man step in to get you down off of the platform. All right, Rick, you know I drove this boat all morning long and I love the design of this console. It's the perfect height where you can sit or you can stand. It's got adjustable helm, Plenty of room for a flush mount electronics, but one thing you don't normally see on a boat this size, I've got a 360 degree tow kick underneath. Uh, let me show you something you forgot. If you ever got out of your boat builder's office and went fishing, you would learn the danger of a dead battery, okay? Take it from somebody that, that, that had to be rescued on a stormy night. This voltmeter, which a lot of boats this size don't have, will tell you the second that you're having battery problems. Rick, you know what? Here's another one of the seats that you like so much that you can face forward or face backwards. But what's under the seat is something you just don't normally see in a Carolina skiff. You know, they're famous for having a foam-filled hull. But in this particular boat, we've got a built-in fuel tank under the floor, 30 gallons, something you don't normally see in a Carolina skiff. I know one thing. You'd run a long day before you ran out of gas if you filled this thing up with 30 gallons. Well, what's nice about having the fuel tank there, the center of gravity, it's low. There, it's a good place to put it because it's usable room that's normally not used in a boat that's full foam. You know, you talk about usable room, Dave. We've got a whole lot of cockpit in this boat. If you'll notice, the console is plenty big enough, but we got so much room to walk around the sides. And whereas we've got our rear casting platform, all the room that you and I would need, okay, it's small enough to where there's still plenty of room in the cockpit. You can actually carry an extra person or two with that much room. Well, this boat is one of those compromises we had talked about earlier. It's a rolled gunnel boat. It doesn't have an innerliner. Innerliners are pretty, but basically an innerliner is a boat that's inside out, inside of a hull. And they look nice, but they take up room because they come down on the inside and encroach on your cockpit. When you don't have an innerliner, you give up a little bit of the fit and finish, but you end up with a boat that's rhino tough and maximum amount of space available. And easy to clean, and you've lost the cost of an innerliner. It's going to be a little more value oriented if you don't have all the extra stuff in it. Well, it's not only less expensive, but less weight. This boat is a lot lighter and performs great with the 115. Oh, I run all day with the 115. Are you kidding me? It's all the power you need. You're not going to go fast in a flat bottom boat anyway. Let's make no mistake about it. So be efficient. The 115 on this boat is perfect for maximum efficiency. Well, to round out this boat, what they've pretty much done, they've taken a tried and true design. They've been building this same style hull for a long time. 
They added the tunnel. They put the fuel tank down on the floor. A lot of improvements that really makes this 19H stand out above the rest. There's a reason why there's Carolina skiffs in 50 out of 50 states.